Well, just started the process of moving. I've got a lot of crap. I've got the whole bedroom and everything in here. The uh, parents are giving me some furniture, which is sweet. I, I rented one of these uh, 6x12s. I, I like these U-Haul trailers. Yeah. Look how low that is to the ground. Yeah. Just a big old trailer. Everything in there. I'm going to start working on this bench here. And uh, get everything cleaned up. Just consolidate stuff and probably I got cylinder head I'm gonna put in the uh, put back here but yeah I need to get I'm gonna get that workbench I'm taking that with me and all the tools and that's gonna go in the back of that bastard and then my old computer desk which I built like 10 years ago that's gonna come out here and be my mom's workbench I'm leaving them leaving the uh, sound system out because I don't feel like te tearing down Plus, I made a deal with my mom to get me a new computer desk, so um, that works out. But yeah, just uh, we're, we're moving. We'll, we'll get to see the new place here in a few moments. And just some thoughts on this trailer here. Um, I've got a. All this is going to go. I got to take this to the dump. I'm thinking the bumper and tailgate, or the bumper and bed. This is. We're gonna. I think me and Adam are gonna take this all off. We're gonna put it on the white truck. Oh no! Oh my God, the white truck. We're gonna put it on the crew cab. This just has a little bit of damage back here. That's more repairable than the other bed. So this is gonna go on the crew cab. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is pull all the trailer stuff back off and store it. Uh, the wheels and tires. I'm gonna store because I'm gonna keep my spares for my truck. The leaf springs, I want the leaf springs out of this thing. Um, Cause I'm gonna build a leaf spring pack for this truck here to get me up probably two or three more inches. And then, uh, and it's got a good Ford nine inch in it. It's a uh, three, 350 gears. I might sell that for a couple hundred bucks or whatever they're worth. I might even get some money out of these wheels and tires. And I think the rest of this, we're just gonna chop up and, and scrap it. Only because I, I don't really, the new place I can store it, it's just, it's just one thing that gets in the way and it's got good parts on it that, um, that me and Adam need. So Adam needs the bed and the bumper. I want wheels and tires, the rear end and the springs off of it. Um, I think the shocks net are still good. I can rip those off and give them to my friend who needs a set of rear shocks. So I think this trailer is going to be be uh, used for parts, demoed, and the rest of it will all just haul it away to the dump. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I know I've been wanting to build a trailer, but I think I think this is I'm just going to make it uh, make it so it can be moved, and then after that it's just going to get demoed. So this is going to be coming up real soon. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a bed bolt kit and we'll just rip that bed off of Adam's truck, get some guys together and we'll we'll just swap the beds. Well, got that kind of cleared. Kind of haphazardly loaded up that crap there. It's gonna be contained, I don't, I don't care. I just wanted it loaded, so. I still have some more room for stuff, but um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to pull this forward bring that white guy back here white truck and then yeah that thing did not want to start it's, I still have to do the fuel return line stuff on it so it looks a little bit of, it gets a little bit of air in there and it's like nah just sit there crank let me just burn the starter out while we're at it <coughs> draw valve
we're down to one bucket of used oil. That is the no-no waste oil, um, or the bottoms of those buckets. It gets down to some like coolanty shenanigans and stop. You're like, no more. I got this little bit here. This is probably gonna go in the brown truck. This guy's got probably about five gallons of waste oil in it. It shouldn't cost me that much to fill it up. This is all that I gotta go get a lock so I can lock this. Cause I'm not moving until tomorrow afternoon, so. Um, yeah. Luckily for me, I know how to back up a trailer so I can just go the way I came and, and then sneak it out. <clears throat> this truck I'm probably gonna go last with. So, yeah. <sighs> Bob Saget, I gotta put that cylinder head somewhere. What am I gonna do with that? That freaking thing. That's got actually got a defect in the cast. I can see it right here. I gotta. I'm just gonna ship it up, ship it off, and or maybe I just leave it here. Just be like, hey, I'm gonna ship this thing. So I just do that. So yeah, this is almost cleared out. I have a, a shelf that I freed up from my room. It's like a plastic rack kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna use that for in the new garage it's just a one car garage nothing fancy but i'm gonna use that rack for that stuff um, i'm gonna try and get it organized beforehand and oh man there's gonna be a lot of work gonna be a lot of work well that is gonna be a wrap for this video i'm just gonna go lock stuff up anyways just to let you guys know this is what's going on uh, in later videos, you'll see the new place, um, and when I, I've got to get internet set up out there, so it may it may take a while for videos to show up. I may have to come back to here and upload videos from the laptop. So, um, just letting you know, this is what's going on. Videos content slows down. Well, now you know. Well, I did give you that little teaser video, so you know that much. But I just want to show you the. A little bit of what's going on around here because somebody at, told me to make a video. Later when I get the, my big PC set up, we'll do a, I'll do a bigger video, but this is gonna be done on the laptop tonight, so. Anyways, well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your viewership. Anyways, I gotta go, I'm, I'm tired. I, I'm, I can't even talk properly, so. Peace out.